the camera trembles. Dr. Michio Kaku stands at the podium, his hands shaking, his voice barely holding. Behind him, a frozen slide shows the inside of the moon, hollow, impossible. He whispers, it's not what we thought. Then silence, heavy, suffocating. What could make one of the world's calmest minds break down in front of millions? It happened during the 2025 International Planetary Forum in Tokyo. Rows of scientists filled the auditorium, some restless, others expectant. The presentation was supposed to be routine, another update on lunar mapping. But when the lights dimmed and the first image appeared, the room changed. The moon's cross-section glowed on the massive screen. Yet, what appeared inside wasn't what anyone expected. Perfect symmetry. Layered voids. Shapes that looked, disturbingly, like design. For a moment, no one spoke. Some leaned forward, trying to understand what they were seeing. Others looked at each other, uncertain whether to laugh or feel afraid. The presenter's voice faltered. This was taken last month, he said, as if forcing the words out. From beneath the surface, whispers rippled through the hall. Cameras clicked. A cluster of journalists exchanged glances. Something about that image, about the quiet dread in the room, made it clear. This wasn't just new data. Something about the moon had changed. Or maybe we had finally looked deep enough to see what was really there. Months earlier, before that conference ever took place, a series of advanced imaging satellites had scanned beneath the moon's crust. The mission's objective was simple. Verify old geological readings. Confirm the moon's interior was solid, lifeless, predictable. But the data that came back shattered every assumption. What they found weren't layers of dense rock. They found cavities. Vast, symmetrical hollows extending for miles beneath the surface. Smooth walls, perfect alignments. Repeating geometric patterns that no natural process could produce. JPL scientists used every term they could. Inexplicable, non-geological, impossible. The word artificial was quietly avoided. Yet, everyone in the lab was thinking it. They compared the lunar chambers to theoretical megastructures, precise enough to mimic design, but too large for any known formation process. This wasn't random erosion or ancient impact residue. It was deliberate. They expected silence beneath the moon, but instead they found structure, empty corridors carved into its heart. It was as if something had been constructed inside it and left there for us to eventually notice. What was hidden beneath that quiet gray surface was no longer just science. It was a blueprint, and it shouldn't exist. Deeper investigations brought another startling discovery. Inside those hollow lunar chambers, thermal imaging revealed pockets of localized heat, precise, steady heat sources that defied geological explanation. Heat that seemed too consistent and well-organized to be natural volcanic activity or a solar warming. The moon, long thought to be a dead rock, showed signs of internal energy still at work. Scientists hesitated to jump to conclusions, but questions piled up quickly. Could these heat signatures be from some kind of reactor? A machine buried beneath the lunar surface? Or was it something completely beyond current understanding? For the first time, the moon stopped being a silent satellite and started to feel alive, active, and mysterious. What did this artificial heat mean for our understanding of our celestial neighbor? The answers remained elusive. As the thermal anomalies raised questions, another breakthrough emerged from gravitational studies Independent teams from several nations mapped subtle variations in the moon's gravitational field. What they discovered was astonishing. A global lattice-like grid beneath the surface, 
perfectly aligned with the hollow chambers and heat sources already identified. This wasn't random fluctuation. It was a precise, interconnected network, as if embedded within the Moon's very core. Multiple international space agencies confirmed these findings, each independently arriving at the same conclusion. The Moon's interior was not uniform nor natural. When three independent teams find the same thing, one scientist explained, it's no longer speculation. It's undeniable evidence of design. This pattern suggested a carefully engineered structure, a network built to harness or control something on a massive scale. The gravitational grid, combined with the hollow chambers and heat signatures, painted a mysterious and complex picture. This was no ordinary satellite. The moon was quite possibly a megastructure, and the question remained who built it and why? The modern discoveries oddly resonated with ancient mythologies. Civilizations like the Sumerians, Egyptians, and Mayans shared unusual stories about the moon, not as a permanent celestial fixture, but as something that arrived in the sky at a specific time. Their legends spoke of long periods when Earth had no moon at all, nights illuminated only by stars and firelight. These myths, once dismissed as mere folklore, are now beginning to feel like encoded memories passed through millennia. What if these ancient cultures were trying to warn us? Their symbolic stories may conceal truths that, until now, we were not prepared to hear. Perhaps they glimpsed the moon's true nature before science caught up. This overlap of mythology and science hints at a forgotten wisdom, an unseen connection between humanity's past beliefs and the staggering lunar discoveries of today. Were these ancient peoples aware of the moon's deeper secrets? Or was it a message meant for us to decode now? The boundary between myth and reality has never been so blurred. One of the most puzzling lunar mysteries dates back to the Apollo missions. In 1969, Apollo 12 deliberately crashed its ascent stage onto the Moon's surface. The resulting seismic waves traveled through the Moon. But instead of dissipating quickly, the Moon uh, rang like a bell for nearly an hour. At the time, NASA scientists were baffled. This prolonged reverberation was unlike anything recorded on Earth or expected from a solid rocky body. The strange acoustic behavior didn't fit with existing models of the Moon's interior. Decades later, advanced computer simulations shed new light on the anomaly. They confirmed that such ringing could only occur if the Moon were hollow or reinforced internally by a rigid framework. This evidence aligns eerily with the recent discoveries of cavities and structural grids. For years, this phenomenon was largely ignored or dismissed, lost in dusty archives forgotten by many. But now, with new data resurfacing, the lunar bell rings louder than ever. What seemed like a quirk of physics back then might actually be a clue to the Moon's true nature, hidden in plain sight for over half a century. In 2024, space probes orbiting the far side of the Moon began picking up something unexpected, low-frequency bursts of energy emanating from the shadowed regions. These signals weren't random noise. They exhibited repeating digital-like patterns that suggested intentional transmission. At first, scientists dismissed these emissions as cosmic background interference or natural lunar phenomena. But the mystery deepened when probes actively sent pings, and in response, the bursts altered their sequence, almost as if acknowledging the communication attempt. This reactive behavior challenged all previous assumptions. What entity, if any, could be sending these signals? And for what purpose? While some have speculated about extraterrestrial origins, the scientific community remains cautious refusing to jump to conclusions. Instead, the focus is on unraveling the uncomfortable questions. If these signals aren't natural, who or what is behind them?
The moon, once viewed as a silent and lifeless body, now seems to be communicating, or at least responding, to our presence. This raises profound implications about our place in the cosmos and the secrets hiding just beyond Earth's gaze. The moon's relationship with Earth is unique and mathematically extraordinary. Its size and distance allow for perfect solar eclipses, a cosmic coincidence found nowhere else in our solar system. It always shows the same face to Earth, locked in synchronous rotation, as if programmed to do so. This stable, unchanging orbital dance defies easy explanation. The odds of these conditions occurring naturally? Astronomically low, this precision suggests a design far too exact to be random. The Moon's orbit performs with a clockwork regularity, raising questions about whether its position and movements were orchestrated rather than accidental. In the cold light of physics, the Moon's path around Earth tells a story that is as mysterious as it is precise, one that science has only just begun to unravel. Perhaps the most unsettling part of this story is not the discoveries themselves, but what has been hidden from the public. Records from the Apollo missions, vital data and audio tapes have mysteriously disappeared or been erased. Astronauts who witnessed strange phenomena on the moon have been silenced, officially or unofficially. Whistleblowers from NASA and other space agencies admit to redactions and cover-ups, masking truths that were deemed too dangerous or destabilizing. The public is left with gaps, empty spaces where evidence should be, fueling suspicion and conspiracy. Researchers who try to probe deeper often face obstruction or dismissal. The emotional weight of this silence is palpable. Disbelief at the scale of deception, anger at lost opportunities for truth, and a deeper, chilling fear of what else might be concealed. At this point, a moment of silence seems appropriate, a space for the gravity of these revelations to settle. What truths remain buried beneath official lies? And who benefits from keeping them hidden? Now, we face the unsettling question that lingers in every scientist's mind, but rarely spoken aloud. What if the moon isn't a moon at all? Pause. Let that idea resonate. If this is true, then every mission sent to the moon, every photograph and sample, was just the beginning of a much larger discovery. The moon might be a constructed entity, a megastructure placed here for reasons still beyond our understanding. This shifts everything, from how we view our satellite to our place in the cosmos. So, what do you believe the moon really is? A cosmic coincidence or an ancient artifact hiding in plain sight? Share your theories. Dive into the mystery. Because maybe, the truth we've been searching for beyond the stars has been watching over us all along. And in the next video, get ready to uncover even deeper, more shocking truths. The journey is just beginning.